I want to talk to you guys about um, coming from a place of unconditional love and uh, tarot, tarot uh, card reading. Um, God had given me a, a revelation last night and um, I was thinking of whatever, you know, um, you know, we get so many uh, tarot card readers on uh, YouTube or whatever that stating or whatever, you know, spiritual twin flame um, uh, counterparts or whatever that stating or whatever that, you know, you have to be healed and delivered and so forth of all of your inner child wounds and things that have happened to you, you know, along the way before you even came of knowing that you had a spiritual twin flame counterpart. And it's coming from, you know, you have to, it's coming from our heart space. Everything that we're operating out of is coming from our heart space. And, you know, I believe or whatever, you know, you know, we have so many tarot card readers or whatever stating or whatever, you know, and, you know, they be popping off about, you know, well, you know, the karmic need to do this and do that, but, you know, Stating that this person, you know, is probably on a low vibration or whatever and is there to teach our counterpart lessons or whatever. Uh, what about the lessons that we should be practicing ourselves? Uh, because God give each and every one of us all lessons. Everything that we go through is a part of our journey and a lesson. And um, coming from a person or whatever that's stating or whatever, you have to be in a place of unconditional love uh, before you can even come together with your counterpart. Um, what about the card readers that uh, operating on a low vibration and, you know, they're coming from their heart space and their energy. They're reading these cards and stating that, you know, you have to be given off love and this and that and this and that, but they know that they still have things in their hearts that are not of a high vibration. They're still operating on a low vibration. You know, some of them still could be uh, dealing with jealousies, intimidation, uh, uh, you know, needing validation, needing, you know, seeking out attention. You know, what I've came to discover it's a lot of people that, uh, you know, want self-validation and they want to be of some type of uh, uh, leading trends for the people, but their heart space is not even in a high vibration. It's still operating off of a low vibration. If you're in a high uh, space of vibration, you don't need validation from anyone. You don't, I wouldn't care if you had one subscriber. I wouldn't care if you had one person watching your videos. I wouldn't care or whatever, you know, what you had going on. You still wouldn't need validation to be, I see some of these tarot read, readers or whatever, and you see them uh, posting stuff back to back to back. And Honestly, or whatever, you know, God, he lead and guide us on a spiritual aspect. That's why I feel like uh, this uh, whole twin flame thing is coming from the name of it in itself is spiritual twin flame union. It's coming from spirits and some of those spirits could be bad or good. And I believe coming from a place of the higher power, nothing should be coming uh, on a low vibration. Everything from your heart space should be of love and unconditional love. Even as you're giving out your tarot reader readings to uh, the counterparts and to the twin flames that's, uh, you know, on this journey, uh, you should be operating on a high vibration, your energy should always be coming from a place of love, unconditional love. And if it isn't, I don't think you should even be given a reading because how do we know that your heart isn't feeling this way or that way and that way, you know, but you're yet and still you're stating that, you know, 
God have to, you know, we have to go through the dark night of the soul. We have to be healed. We have to be delivered. We have to, you know, uh, be clear of all these things or whatever. But you got tarot card readers that haven't even healed or cleared out like some of the low vibrational things that they need to clear out themselves. So how would we be able to say that this tarot reader is operating on a high vibration and is giving out, you know, a reading of love and unconditional love because some of them are still in a bad place themselves. Some of them still think low of themselves and they're doing readings. Some of them uh, operating from a place of anger, uh, revengeful, intimidate. You know, I'm not going to go with that again with the intimidation and validation and, and attention seeking. But when you're in a place of self-seeking and have to have validation of self, you're still operating on a low vibration. And some of these readers, they're uh, in competition with each other. And I believe that to be operating on a lower vibration. You know, and, you know, it's my opinion, but God, he give me, you know, even before I came here, you know, I'm not going to say it again. I was led here by God. I was led here by the Holy Spirit. When I started seeing, you know, first I met my counterpart and then right after like, Three or four months after or whatever, I prayed about it. You know, I prayed about this particular person because, you know, when I came to this person, my heart was fully open. I was open. I was on a high vibration. I was open to love. You know, I was full of giving love and sending love out to everyone, you know, and I'm going to speak my truth anyways, because God has have given me gifts or whatever, where I could read through YouTube and through, you know, I could see a person's picture. I could hear their voice or whatever, you know. So, you know, people may think that they're fooling the other or whatever, but just like he has given this person a gift, he have given, I believe, you know, each and every last one of us that's on this journey, God have given us, you know, gifts and a way to, you know, to show us and see our way through and how to operate or whatever, you know, spiritually to know things or whatever. So, you know, again, I'm stating or whatever, you know, you got tarot card readers that's still low, you know, they're even doing things or whatever, you know, to bring them and their counterpart together. That's on a low vibration. And, you know, I can't stress this enough. You know, I'm no one's leader. I'm not trying to be. And, you know, I don't have any subscribers right now. And, you know, I know eventually God will get these messages out because he wants them to be heard. And so, you know, I'm just coming from a place of love or whatever. And I know, you know, I have, done, you know, God have done, you know, I'm a inward person anyway, spiritually. And, you know, I've been on a journey all my life going through obstacles. And, you know, I had to go and forgive and heal and get delivered and, you know, where I could move on to the next, uh, you know, step or the next, you know, part of my life or get on, you know, on my way, on my journey, you know, each step of the way, you know, I've been guided and led by the spirit, the Holy Spirit. And what I'm stating is, you know, you know, I'm seeing some of these card readers and, you know, I go and I, you know, I check out each and every one of them because be believe it or not, I can you know, pretty much see through people. I could tell what they're doing, all of that. And, you know, so it's no secret or whatever, you know, and by the grace of God, I hope that this message get out or whatever, you know, I love everyone. And I, you know, I'm just wanting to give, you know, uh, unconditional love message to all tarot readers and all twin flame counterparts or whatever, everyone that, you know, is operating and, you know, reading cards and being of service should be operating on a high vibration. You should not be tampering with witchcraft, any of that, because if you believe in yourself and, and, and you're operating unconditionally and from purity, God will give you all of that and show you all of that and give you all those gifts to guide and lead you. And he will bring your counterpart to you. 
or whatever, you know, from just operating from a place of love and unconditional love. We should all be doing that. You know, as for these tarot readers, you know, study posting back to back to back, you know, uh, uh, readings and all of that or whatever, you know, with some of the things that they're putting out or whatever. It's just to keep these people's uh, 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 trailing in behind them and, you know, not giving them a chance to go and go within themselves and learn themselves and, you know, going to the higher power and, you know, being able to come from a place of unconditional love and ask God for everything they need to see and know and being able to, you know, get the vision of what's going on anyways and what's what your counterpart is doing and what's the next step and, you know, how you're operating and, you know, what you're doing, you know, because the higher power, believe it or not, he will show you. You don't need a, a freaking, you know, um, you know, it's good to get confirmation from the readers or whatever. But as for just, you know, trailing along the way with these people, these people are just, you know, uh, guiding you guys and leading you guys for you guys to follow them, to give you guys information so that they can uh, receive more money or they can receive more subscribers or they can receive. And when you're operating from purity and unconditional love, you don't need all of that because everyone is supposed to win on a high vibration unless you're operating out of evil or a low, lower vibrational energy. Everyone that's on a high frequency are supposed to succeed. They're supposed to uh, move forward. They're supposed to uh, uh, come from a place of love. All, everything that they're asking for, you know, the Holy Spirit will grant it to them. You know, you don't have to keep getting validation and following in behind these people in every little video that they're putting out or whatever to torn, torp your mind or whatever and keep you trending behind them. No one, you know, you shouldn't be following anyone that's given low vibrational energy videos anyways and that isn't even on a high vibration theirself. They they need val validation for themselves. They want to feel like they're the leader in something. And if they're not coming from, you know, unconditional love for everyone and feeding that out to everyone and, you know, loving on everyone unconditionally, how do you think they're leading you to a good place? They're not leading you to your twin counterpart. They're leading you on or whatever. And, uh, you know, they'll keep doing these readings keep telling you things until, you know, it feeding you these things to later on, you know, it could be years until you catch on. You have to do this stuff yourself. You have to go within yourself. You have to go to the higher power and ask him, what is it that needs to be healed, you know, and to deliver you and to show you the way and uh, bring you together with your spiritual partner. You, you can't keep going and following in behind these people, you have to go to the source. And the source is coming from a place of unconditional love within yourself and going to the higher power and praying to him to give you the way to go. You know, that's just a little bit about what I wanted to speak about. You know, I'm, you know, I'm a child of God. I'm not trying to tell anyone what to do. I'm just stating the facts. Uh, God bless, you know. I hope I wish everyone the best. You know, I hope that everyone succeed. Everyone keep being prosperous, come from a place of light, love, unconditional love and continuously feeding out, you know, to God's people to lead them to a high vibrational space of getting to their counterpart and, you know, of the place to where they need to get to, to be emptied out and filled up with the Holy Spirit and filled with love and uh, ridding themselves of hurts and pains that may have endured, you know, during their life. And I thank you guys and y'all have a great day.